Hi there, I'm Tom. Today we're at the old Los Angeles Zoo here in Griffith Park. Now when I say old Los Angeles Zoo, what images come to mind? For me, when I hear old zoo, I at least hope that there'll be dilapidated old cages, buildings that are falling apart and covered with graffiti and overgrowth. And the reason why we're here today is because the old Los Angeles Zoo has all that. So let's go check it out. Obviously, the zoo is old. How old? Well, they moved the old zoo from Lincoln Heights to this location in 1912, over a hundred years ago, opening the zoo with just 15 animals. So here we are at our first turn. We've just gone past all those rock grottos. We're gonna make a quick U-turn, and we're gonna go head up this way to the back part of the zoo. Let's go check it out. Now, from the beginning, the Los Angeles Zoo never got the respect it deserved. Zoo officials needed $10,000 for a full build-out. They were given $2,000, one-fifth of what they needed to get the zoo up and running to their standards. If you were lucky enough to come to this zoo while it was open, you would have seen bears, lions, monkeys, macaws, elephants, reptiles, goats, and turtles. So just think about all those huge animals and all the cages we're seeing today. In 1916, the Los Angeles Zoo was nearly shut down by the health department. Why? Well, as I mentioned earlier, they had $2,000 to work with when they were building the zoo. One of the things they didn't do was dredge a sewer or a septic tank system. So all of the human and animal refuse, instead of being collected, was just being funneled into the Los Angeles River, which is just 3,000 feet east of us. The city of Los Angeles has a dubious history of knocking down buildings in the name of progress. We think of beautiful Victorian homes that dotted Bunker Hill, knocked down to make room for the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion. But here at the old Los Angeles Zoo, we have an exception. We have a physical manifestation of a time in Los Angeles that otherwise would be lost to history. We can come and see what zoos were like a hundred years ago. We can come and retrace the steps of thousands of zoo goers and begin to understand maybe what Los Angeles was like when they were alive. See the Los Angeles that they experienced, that they remember. Even though this zoo closed its doors in 1965, as you can see, it's still very much open and ready for exploration. As always, there's a Google Maps link beneath the video. Click on that and you can come and see what zoos are like during the first half of the 20th century. Thanks for watching.